Music plays an important role in many people's lives, particularly because music is able to help manage individuals' mood and that of their loved ones. Our team wanted to find out if music, particularly nature-based music, can help infants and or young adults to sleep. Before we begin, I would like to thank the Sound and Music Computing Conferences for having us. My name is Lucy, a student from the University of New South Wales, Sydney, Australia, speaking on the behalf of my team, Adam Holbert, Emery Schubert, both from UNSW, and Emma Gibbs from the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. The average newborn sleeps much of the day and night, working only for feedings every few hours. At times, it can be stressful when the child cannot sleep and is crying for attention, wanting food or due to the noise pollution caused from unwanted intermittent noises in and outside the home. A promising way to overcome and treat difficulty in sleeping is to listen to music before or during bedtime. Using music to promote sleep can help mentally and physically relax the body and mind. Moreover, Music can help adjust negative behaviours and change sleep patterns to better the individual's well-being. Additionally, music offers a non-pharmacological method to support healthy sleep. In particular, the music we are investigating consists of a series of nature-based ambient music composed by an Australian composer and co-author, Dr. Adam Halbert. So, what is sleep through? Sleep Through is a program on ABC Kids Listen that is designed to help infants sleep throughout the night. From unwanted environmental noise, Dr. Holbert wanted his compositions to absorb elements of field recordings using naturally occurring sounds. Waterfalls, streams and winds were adopted to create a relaxing acoustic environment. The compositions are a foundation of simple, repetitive and slow-moving harmonic structures. Complex melodies were avoided, and expectations of rapid change were minimised. To date, there are a total of 18 different soundscapes in which Dr. Halbert experiments his compositions through modulated synths and sonic manipulation techniques. Essentially, ABC Kids Listen is an app that allows people to access radio programs, of which includes music, produced by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the ABC use by anyone in Australia using a phone, a computer or any electronic device. Users are allowed to download these and play the compositions in their own time. To date, no research has been conducted into how sleep there is used and what its efficacy is. And so we conducted a survey targeting those who had used or listened to sleep through. Below is a link for anyone in Australia who is interested in checking out the Sleep Through playlist. Participants were assumed to have listened to Sleep Through soundscapes prior to taking the survey. The survey was done through online Qualtrics platform, to which a survey link was distributed through the social media, gaining attention from the ABC followers and young adults. After two months of gathering participant responses, there were 44 participants that commenced the survey, with 21 responses completed entirely. The survey was then brought to a halt. What you see here on the right are the questions to our survey. Here is the theme map of the results, and there are five main identifying themes consisting of relaxation as the most important theme followed by habit formation, then distraction, then auditory masking, and then association. The second branch of categories are sub-themes, and the third branch of categories are prominent responses from the sub-themes identified in the survey. The findings we found include 76% of the participants use a sleep through more than eight times, with 52% of those using it for more than an hour and or on repeat. 60% found sleep through to be quite effective, and then 40% of people found sleep through to be very effective. Participants 
Participants indicated that the slow, ambient sounds of sleep through playlist was a major source of relaxation. Relaxation refers to the tension released from the body, physiologically, and mind, mentally. Overall, out of 21 participants who indicated terms such as relax or calm, 18 of them were closely linked to a mental state of mind. Examples included, I find it makes me feel a lot calmer and sleepier in the mental state, and the rising and falling of the sound is good to regulate my breathing. It's considered physiological, meaning relating to the way in which the body functions. Association refers to mental connection between concepts, mental states or events that usually stems from specific experiences. Incongruence between sound and place can remind individuals of time when they were connected to nature. Even though home was the single most favoured soundtrack, the majority of selected soundscapes were water-based, for example, rain, ocean or waterfall. This was attributed to the participants having been to a place where they had seen rain, an ocean or a waterfall being suggestive of the association theme. Sleep through is beneficial because engaging in the soundscapes diverted the listener from focusing on stressful thoughts. Five participants in the present study expressed that sleep through helped reduce distractions from their own thoughts. These are known as internal distractions. Whereas external distraction involves visual triggers and online social interactions via the use of technology. From the survey, two participants reported using sleep through as a way to fix the previous bad habits when getting into sleep for healthier sleep habits. Participant 16 uses sleep through to avoid watching movies while he falls asleep and participant 39 plays sleep through in bed to limit the use of being on the phone scrolling through social media. Auditory masking drowns out or minimises unwanted background noise, enabling focus on the sounds participants want to hear that can be applied to music to aid sleep. Examples include, it assists in blocking background noise in the house and I use it for the toddler as background sounds to sleep and aid uninterrupted sleep. Habit formation of I use it to go to bed or assist with falling asleep is a way of providing a sense of time and routine. Furthermore, the responses related to breastfeeding also fitted comfortably as a sub-theme of habit formation, where listening to sleep through music help infants recognise that it is time to eat their food. Participants were asked to indicate which aspects of sleep through they found to be effective. The use of high-pitched sounds and the use of irregular beating were not favoured as comments were raised that these tend to disrupt their sleep. However, the use of low-pitched sounds and nature sounds were deemed most effective, followed by white noise and irregular beating. In times that are quite challenging for many, it is important to be aware of methods for maintaining or improving mental health, and an important way our research has done this is by better understanding how music, and in particular Adam Halbert's sleep through, can, and as our research suggests, does aid sleep in five ways. It improves relaxation, minimizes distraction, masks other auditory sounds, select music based on the preference to what they're associated with, and improves sleep habits. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. The email is down below. For any Australians out there, feel free to check out Sleep Through from the ABC link. And lastly, our team is more than happy to take on any other questions for this project. Thank you.